Hey there YouTubers, Tom here from Tom's Test Kitchen and I have a new pickle to try out. This is actually called Rick's Picks and these are what they call hotties. It's a spicy sriracha pickle chips and uh, uh, yep, they're made in New York. This is a uh, fine brine for a bloody sweet spicy oh, yeah, fine brine for a bloody, sweet, spicy sriracha. Low sodium, gluten free. The ingredients are cucumbers, vinegar, water, sriracha sauce, uh, garlic, chili powder, habanero powder, and calcium chloride. And as you can see, this is loaded with garlic. I mean, this are, there is a ton of garlic in here. Let's taste these. Got a good smell. Let's get a couple of these bad boys out. Pretty thick cut. Actually, for me, for a hamburger, that's a little too thick. But I was really, I was really intrigued by this because it had. Uh, Sriracha sauce, and I, I absolutely love sriracha sauce. So let's give it a taste. Got a good crunch. Mmm. Fair amount of heat, but not that, not that hot. More vinegary than heat. It's got a nice little, little burn, you know, more than your average pickle. Nowhere near the, those Claussen hot pickles that I tasted. Those things were, oh man, they were really hot. Pretty good. I think I think though that the garlic is a little overwhelming, but uh, they've got a good flavor to them. I would I would recommend them if you like spicy, spicy pickles, spicy foods. They're pretty good. I probably won't buy them again, but. Uh, one of the things, the drawback that I, I, I think is, these are pretty darn expensive. This was like, this jar was like $6.49, something like that. So it's like almost $7 for a jar of pickles. That's, that's pretty crazy. But, they're pretty tasty. Uh, I, I really don't think they're worth, uh, you know, close to $7.00. Well, you could you could make buy yourself some some cheaper pickles, throw in some garlic and sriracha sauce yourself, and come up with the same thing. I just was really intrigued with uh, the sriracha, and I like to, to to try different pickles. And this this is supposed to be a pretty good brand, the Rick's Picks. So there you have it. I kind of give it a thumb in the middle. There you go, YouTubers.